this is how I would start my coach collection. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel, AKB Bags, and uh, thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. I wanted to share some of my thoughts on how I would start over on a coach collection. I have bought coach for 20 years and bought and sold and bought and sold and kept ones that, you know, that were my favorite, obviously, and I kind of wanted to go from charms to bags, suggestions on how I would start. Now, these are just my opinion. My favorite SLGs, bag charms, bags that I would recommend. So if you're interested, let's keep on rolling. So let's start out with Coach bag charms. If you've never bought a Coach bag charm, they are very thick, made super well. This one is the Coach Tom Wesselman collaboration. These hold up to everything. Coach has, in my opinion, the best bag charms, keychains that you can buy for the money. So I would definitely get you some charms. They're always coming out with different unique charms. They have a bunch of these flower ones. And I did sell one of mine because I just wasn't using it. But they have this flower one. And then if you're ever in the Rexy this pretty Rexy keychain bag charm is so cute. So definitely recommend a bag charm because they hold up. They're very well made, very structured. They they typically don't break easily. And I only had one, which is my cherries, that broke on camera. I, I My husband glued it twice. <laughs> It's still alive, but now I'm thinking I want a different cherry charm because the leaves um, keep breaking on the cherry charms. So, but these right here, I recommend all day long. Those thicker coach charms are amazing. I don't really use card holders that much anymore, so my suggestion is more of a compact, medium-sized wallet. And these right here, these zip-around... I can't remember the name of this particular wallet. I'll put it up here. And it has the two slots. And it has a little wristlet chain here. You put your ID on the back and then just zip open. And it, you could put your cash, cards, money, all fit inside there. And then there's also a pocket behind the card slots as well. So yeah, this is a handy little wallet that I would suggest. Uh, they have so many patterns and this one was on sale and I wanted to try it out. And this is a great little mid-size wallet. This next one is a retail wallet and I believe it's called the Dreamer wallet. It is the softest leather that I have in a wallet. So if you come across this wallet, it has a back pocket. And then here's the little gold. And it says coach right there. And in here, we have four slots over here. We have... A slot behind the zipper, behind the cards, you have a spot for there, and you have a spot for your change right here. And then another additional spot for cards or cash. This is a very nice wallet. And again, let me pull out the tag. It is the Dreamer card case. And like I said, this is some really nice leather. Whatever they, the leather used for this wallet is super soft. Highly recommend this wallet. And that was a retail piece. This is uh, an outlet piece that I've had for years and years. And this is in that kind of cross grain leather gold hardware. I love the little, the dangly C. 
and this one you just open up and card slots on this one though you can you don't have to fold up your bills they go in flat like that and a place for your quarters or your change that and this one is called the snap card case with charm so you can find a lot of these wallets on the second hand market but I uh, really enjoy the size of these more compact wallets <clears throat> and everybody needs the Nolita 15 they come out with different colors and patterns and I have three of my own and this is the same size as a Louis Vuitton mini pochette for a fraction of the cost highly recommend these little pouches for your purse they don't come out with these Nolita 15 size very often but when they do you should snatch it up it is super cool with that hang tag rainbow very cute little pouch goes inside your purse your medium sized purses will it'll fit better in so that's the inside so definitely recommend getting one of these Nolita 15s and also if you like uh, a date night bag I would suggest the Nolita 19 and here is the size difference of the 15 and the 19 you can fit a little more in the 19 and I have several of these as well and you can put these in larger bags if you want or you can just I'm I add a chain to make this a crossbody for date night but this one is in that Napa leather it's so pretty but they they make the Nolita 19s more than they make the Nolita 15s. So the 15s you might have to look more on the secondhand market, but they're always coming out with new prints and everything for these Nolita 19s. This is a very it's a slim wallet. One more very very slim wallet I wanted to recommend. This is the Pebble Zip wristlet. It's actually a wristlet in camel color and but it has a ton of card slots and I took off the wristlet because I use it without that has you a nice zipper compartment that you can put your bills in and then it has a front slip also so this is very good slim wallet if you're needing to not to take up too much space this is a perfect perfect wallet on to my bag suggestions there are certain bags on coach outlet and website retail website that seem to be a reoccurring bag so I feel like those are the staples and what people know most about coach and one of those I've mentioned before you've got to have at least one coach Rowan satchel you have the crossbody strap, the zipper goes to that point, has a back pocket, has feet on the bottom, very roomy. They have different uh, shades of colors and leathers and every kind you could imagine, every color you could imagine in this Rowan. So this is definitely one of their staple pieces on the outlet side, so I would highly recommend getting a Rowan but I prefer pebbled leather if in their bags I don't like necessarily the cross grain I've tried it and I just don't like the texture <laughs> but they do come out with Rowan's in pebbled leather occasionally so that's what I would suggest on the Rowan satchel now if we're looking at vintage coach I wish I had more but I don't currently yet I've showed this a lot of times get you a vintage piece you will be surprised at how amazing the leather and the thickness that they used and the quality the hardware everything about those ramblers the Patricia there are so many options the ergo bag of vintage 20 years 20 plus years ago they have some really great bags I just happened to just have one I know <laughs> and this is the uh, coach top handle Willis 
So yeah, still recommend one of these because of it has the crossbody strap and the top handle. So definitely get a vintage piece that you like. And this one's a little bit newer, but it's my magenta colored Soho from probably the 2000 era. <laughs> Perfect for the trends today. Love the silver hardware on this one. So here's a, a little bit newer option that you could get for a decent price. I will always, always, always suggest getting a Coach Cassie full size. I am not a fan of the Coach Cassie 19s. I don't want all those straps. I don't want the giant chain. I just want one strap and the versatility of this bag is amazing. Get your hands on a full size Coach Cassie. Holds all your essentials, has the back pocket. We've all seen these a hundred times, I'm not gonna open it. But definitely they have all kinds of colors. On the second hand market is where you'll find the Coach Cassies. Just beware of some fakes. Um, know what you're looking for. And this, the pebbling, the pebbled leather they used on these Cassies are very soft to the touch. And I've had zero glazing issues. Although I have a lot of purses, so I'm probably not the one to ask for that because I rotate them so much. <laughs> But definitely recommend a Coach Cassie in your collection. The Artist Collaboration Bags, highly recommend. I did have a Jennifer Lopez little tote that I sold on. It was a light vanilla cream color and I just don't gravitate. Well, I actually got some color transfer on the corners so I, I cleaned it up and I sold it because I'm like, no, I don't want a bag that I'm going to mess up for my jeans or my shorts. So uh, definitely artist collaborations come out constantly on Coach. So this is the Morgan. I've talked about this one as well. It did not come with this chain. Um, I just added it to it, even though it, it is a weighty. <laughs> I don't always keep this on, but this one has the the shoulder and crossbody. Very nice against the body, has a back pocket. Any artist collaboration, those become limited edition basically once they're sold out, then people are selling them for high dollars. So if you, if you really love one of those bags, then just grab it because if you don't, you're gonna pay double because that's what's happening on the secondhand market. So any artist collaboration bag is amazing. Of course, I can't leave this video without talking about a rogue. I feel like you need at least one rogue in your collection and mine is the 25 and artist collaboration with. This is the Wesselman collaboration. Yes, I like mouth lips so obviously this was my choice and it was discounted on reserve site or reserve on coach outlet for a great price beautiful glove tan leather the details are unbeatable i mean these bags can go up really high and if i don't want to show the lips i can just wear it on this side and put a charm on the side and wear it but feet on the bottom, of course, these Rowans, people are selling, I think, the bigger sizes away. They just don't carry them, I guess. So you can sometimes find a Rogue 25 in really good condition because they hardly wore it, like myself. <laughs> I hardly wear it because I kind of baby it a little bit. I just don't want anything to happen to it. But I love it, and I'm not getting rid of it. It has two shoulder straps. You have a crossbody strap you know this this is a one that if you're a collector you got to have at least one rogue in your collection one more bonus one <laughs> this is the coach pillow madison with the i don't know if this is black hardware or gunmetal hardware anyway it's beautiful quilting napa leather super soft I know that a lot of people got the tabby, the quilted tabbies, which 
I still may get one of those. <laughs> I still might. But for now, I like my Coach Madison, Pillow Madison, and uh, beautiful, beautiful leather. If you can get it for a bargain, wait until they hit Dillard's or Macy's or Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's has some sales. So, yeah, definitely recommend any of the quilted Coach bags for sure. That is what I would suggest having a little piece of all of those, a wallet, a bag charm, a vintage, a new a art, artist collaboration. Those are all ones that I would recommend on getting. Just my opinion. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I'd be much appreciated. And thank you to all the new subscribers that have come over to my channel. I appreciate all of you. And uh, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's all about handbags, accessories, lifestyle, unboxings. You just never know. And I like to throw in weird topics or unique ideas sometimes. <laughs> so I appreciate all of you. And until next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.